Hi friends, lithium-ion batteries of the size 18650 are probably the most popular standard for today. They are used in laptops, flashlights and even in the electromobiles for cargo handling. Many enthusiasts who decided to build their first electric bike use 18650 banks as batteries. And not only enthusiasts, almost all electric bicycles used accumulators from these batteries. Due to the lack of sufficient funds to buy new batteries, I often have to buy used batteries, for example from laptops. Then I disassemble blocks, measure the capacity and sort in order to assemble the accumulator. I think everyone knows how to charge battery of 18650. You can find specialized chargers or buy such ports that are powered by ordinary USB and are capable of charging one battery with a current of up to one ampere. But what if there were a lot of batteries? That's right, buy more chargers. But in this case, buying smart chargers is no longer profitable. So what to do? Take the soldering iron, of course. Do you remember, recently I was redoing a 12 volt 10 ampere power supply for LED strips. In that video, we lowered the output voltage from 12 volts to 5, but the output current was doubled. I made that 5 volt powerful source exactly for this project. The idea isn't a novelty, I just decided to make a charger which can simultaneously charge 20 batteries. For charging each battery, we will use a well-known board based on the TP4056. First, I wanted to develop a board for a line of 10-9 chips and send it to our partner, the company GLC. But this project had to be completed in the shortest possible time. A printed circuit board ordering is very simple. Go to the GLC company's website. Download the archive with the original Gerber file, select the necessary options for the board, pay for the order and that's all. Your boards will be ready within 48 hours and the cost is minimal, starting from $2 for 10 pieces. Also, anyone who is interested in the production process at the GLC factory can see our video directly from the company's factory. We have shown and explained everything in detail. Links to the GLC website and to the mentioned video can be found in the description. These boards can be with and without protection. We need without protection ones. For my project, it's easy to guess. I needed 20 such boards and, in addition, 20 holders to install the batteries. Some of the boards were with protection, but I solved the problem by soldering the battery directly to the output of the microchip TP4056 by passing the protection circuit. The thing is that, according to my observations, with the standard connection, the battery is slightly not charged to nominal value. So if you take such boards for the charger, take those that are without protection. The system heats up as TP4056 operates in a linear mode, and given that their number is as much as 20 pieces, the heating turns out to be impressive. For safe operation, the design was supplemented by a fan. The fan is the most common form of computer power supply. It is powered by 8 volts, which are obtained with a boost converter MT3608, which in turn is powered by a main power source of 5 volts. The number of rechargeable batteries can be from 1 to 20, because the boards aren't connected to each other and each charges its own battery. Holders are the most common, there are two variants of such holders. I advise you to use the second ones. They are slightly more expensive, but they are much more reliable and durable. I think no need in commenting on further developments. So sit back comfortable and look at process of assembling this unit. 
Links to all the components that are needed to assemble the charger can be found in the description. I wish you pleasant viewing. Goodbye until new meetings with you was Kasyan TV.